Hi, I'm Ted Wodoslowski with C3 Controls. When it comes to industrial machinery, it's critical to ensure that electrical panels are designed and built with a proper SCCR to maintain the system, eliminate downtime, and increase worker safety. The goal of this video is to explain why it's important and how to find the calculations needed. First off, what is SCCR? SCCR means Short Circuit Current Rating. Simply put, it's the maximum short circuit current an electrical component can safely withstand without causing a shock or fire hazard. It's important to understand short circuit current ratings for industrial control panels, which is why we're here. Industrial control panel is a general term that describes an assembly of two or more components that are enclosed. The assembly can be power, control, or both, but it doesn't include the controlled equipment. Now, in UL 508A, the UL standard for safety for industrial control panels, and in the NEC, the standard requires that industrial control panels that contain power circuit components, those that supply mainline power to loads such as motors, heating, lighting, appliance, or receptacles, to be marked with an SCCR, previously referred to as a withstand rating. So why is SCCR important? Well, it's important because SCCR represents the highest short circuit fault current that equipment such as industrial control panels can safely withstand. Exceeding the SCCR may cause catastrophic and violent equipment and component failure. As referenced in the UL 508A and the NEC, industrial control panels that contain only control circuit components do not have to be marked with an SCCR. If the industrial control panel contains a power circuit or branch circuit overcurrent protection device supplying the control panel, then the SCCR must be marked based on the interruption rating of the overcurrent protection device. So let's talk about power circuits versus control circuits. Here are examples of the power control circuit. The power circuit supplies electricity to devices that do the heavy lifting, powering the large motors, for example. This is typically somewhere between 240 volts AC and 600 volts AC, three-phase power. The control circuit is lower power, as low as 5 volts. As the name implies, it controls the operation of the power circuit, but is isolated from it. This is important to isolate the user from the high voltages and currents of the power circuit. Think of the control circuit as the brains in the power circuit as the brawn of a control panel. Let's calculate a simple short circuit current rating. I say simple because SCCR calculations can get very complex. The first thing you do is identify all the components in the power circuit. That includes disconnect switches, circuit breakers, fuse holders, overload relays, motor controllers, meaning contactors, terminal blocks, or power distribution blocks. Determine the SCCR value for all the components in the power circuit. SCCR is usually marked on the component itself. Combination ratings are available on the UL website or within the manufacturer's instructions. If you cannot find the manufacturer's SCCR values, UL table SB4.1 lists the assumed maximum SCCR for unmarked components. Then we determine the SCCR for each branch circuit. The lowest component SCCR is the branch circuit SCCR. Determine the SCCR for the feeder circuit. Take into account the feeder circuit over current protection devices. Determine the lowest value for any component or branch circuit. This is the SCCR for the control panel. Let's take a look at an example SCCR. In this example, you can see in branch one, it has a 100 kiloamp rating, but as you go down a little further, you'll see that the overload re relay has a 10 kiloamp rating. Now, if you move over to branch two, you can see that this one, by going down to the motor controller, has a five kiloamp rating. Moving over a little further, you can see the surge protection device has a 200 kiloamp rating. And finally, the five horsepower motor carries a five kiloamp rating as well. By identifying the SCCR for all of these components, you can see that the motor controller's five kiloamp rating is the rating for the entire panel. So the SCCR for the panel is five kiloamps. So why is SCCR important for installation? Well, since the release of the 2005 NEC, industrial machinery electrical panels are required to be marked with an SCCR rating. Prior to this, panel manufacturers only had to supply the interruption rating of the panel overcurrent protection device or the amperage at which the main disconnect of the panel would trip. This means that since 2005 NEC release, industrial machinery electrical panel manufacturers had to start not only calculating SCCR ratings for their panels, but also understand the available short circuit current that is supplied at the customer facility where the installation of the panel will be. If the available short circuit current supplied to the panel is higher than the SCCR rating marked on the rating label of the panel, installation of this panel is prohibited by NEC 670.5.
This requires industrial machinery, electrical panels, installers to verify the available fault current at their customer facilities. To summarize, three things are important to remember when complying with SCCR ratings. One, the SCCR for the control panel is determined by the lowest SCCR value for any component or circuit branch. Two, the SCCR rating of the electrical panel must be equal to or greater than the available fall current. Three, fall current must be determined at the customer facility where the panel will be installed. We here at CT Controls hope you found this short video helpful. To download the companion white paper and to find other white papers, go to c3controls.com forward slash mcb. Thank you for watching and have a great day from C3 Controls.